Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is the first day of Vlogmas and I'm going to do the Christmas tag. Okay, so I'm going to start off by saying that I am pre-recording this so it's like a week before December start and I am aiming to do Vlogmas but what I want to say is that I've got two kids I've got lots of things on over Christmas so I hope you will all understand if you know if anything comes up whatsoever that in any way shape or form affects me being a good and happy mum to my kiddos then I might not be vlogging every day and some of the videos will be vlogs some of them will be I don't know like random videos so it might be that I've got an update on Slimming World and Weight Loss one day it might be that I've got a makeup tutorial the other as always like if you do have any requests for what you'd like to see in the run up until Christmas if it's festive like makeup or anything like that then let me know and I will do it but without any further ado I'm going to do a Christmas tag so the first question is what is your favorite holiday movie like Christmas movie and mine without a shadow of a doubt is love actually I think that it just sums up everything that Christmas is about really like fighting for love and family and I don't know Hugh Grant dancing around I just I absolutely love it we watch it together me and Mark every year and we usually watch it and have like a drink or a cocktail or something that I've made and we will just I don't know it's just a huge part of like our Christmas tradition and I absolutely love it and obviously there are films like Home Alone and all of that which are great as well but that one for me I get goosebumps and I don't think it would be quite Christmas without it. Number two is what's your favourite Christmas colour and I thought this was kind of a weird one but even though I'm not fond of this colour at all all year round I don't wear it ironically um and I don't tend to have much of it in my house it's red I don't know what it is but when I see the color red I just I automatically think of Christmas and I don't think it particularly suits me and I don't really like how brash it is sometimes but our Christmas tree is full of like loads of like festively colored decorations there's no theme to it there's no like gold and white and silver or any of, any of that it's like crazy like christmas threw upon the tree and red is just it's just the one isn't it i also do like white like all year round and it's like snow but if i had to pick one it'd be red number three do you like to stay in your pajamas or dress up for christmas and i'm kind of half and half with this one because first thing in the morning i like to gather my family up and we're all in our pyjamas and I have bird's nest hair with like hair sticking up everywhere and I look tired and rough and I'll be wearing a dressing gown but that is Christmas like there are so many photos of me as a child like in my pyjamas with my mum in a white dressing gown and my dad and he's like blue stripey one and it's like I wouldn't dress up for that event like I do feel like opening Christmas presents is a pyjama thing but then at the same time when it comes to the Christmas meal I do like to dress up and put like nice makeup on and do my hair and this year I would like to wear like I don't know a red velvet dress or a black velvet dress or something like that because I've lost weight and I think it would be nice to dress up this year but then as I get more and more full I tend to like wish I had my pyjamas on so I would say after Christmas dinner I am quite known for like disappearing upstairs or into my bag and getting like a pair of pyjamas and a jumper because like my belly hurts otherwise like if you wear tights or jeans it's like oh set me free so yeah I'm kind of half and half number four if you could only buy one person a present this year who would it be now this is quite hard because obviously I've got two children and I've got Mark and I've got amazing family members but Mark's not a very materialistic person and he honestly just loves to be with his family and he's more of an, an experience guy than a present guy so I think the experience of Christmas Day would mean more to him anyway and Daisy is so young that she doesn't care at all and I think I would buy a gift for Bill. Now it might sound like an obvious like person to choose because you know he's my little boy but we've been through a lot this year as a family and he has as well like it's not just me and Mark that had a baby in hospital and things like that 
his little sister was in hospital he was all raring to be this big brother and he didn't even really get to spend proper time with his sister until she was six weeks old and you know he started school and he's kind of had his nose pushed out a bit because he's a big brother now and he's not like an only child and he has been amazing and he has been my fight and my drive sometimes when i felt like i had nothing left so if there's anyone that deserves a present this year and to have a brilliant christmas then it's him number five do you open your christmas present on christmas eve or christmas morning excuse my throat by the way i feel like i'm coming down with something because i've had like a tickly throat but if i'm a bit husky then we'll just work with it uh, we are a christmas morning kind of family although we do have one tradition where the kids get christmas pajamas the night before and they did well last year we started like you can open one present so we might do that again i'm not sure yet because it kind of ruins the whole father christmas has been vibe so we'll see um i might do like a christmas eve box as well but again i'm not quite sure number six have you ever built a gingerbread house yes oh my goodness right i bought one from ikea once because you can buy all the pieces ready made and i was dead excited and we got it home and it was like smashed to smithereens inside the box so i say smithereens i tried to work with it and glue it back together with icing but i put all this effort in and i managed to get it all there and we were putting decorations on it like smarties and sprinkles and all of that and then literally just before we were about to finish it just collapsed so i'm a little bit reluctant to do that again but i would like to try it because i think it'd be something that bill would absolutely love and i think that waitrose are doing like decorate your own gingerbread house thing so i might get one from there because there's less chance of me like ruining it before we get home number seven what do you like to do on your christmas break eat <laughs> basically i like to eat i like to drink i like to watch christmas movies i like to watch christmas reruns of cookery programs i like to read my christmas cookery books i like to play with all of the toys with bill do puzzles read books make, do games make lego i like to see people smiling i like to go for crisp winter walks i like to have fun and get drunk and jolly with my family like i just like to indulge and i'm never one to hold back over christmas like tis the season to be jolly and all that number eight any christmas wishes <sighs> i feel like i'm like part of a beauty pageant or something along those lines but i would just like everybody that i love and even people that i don't like know just to have happiness on christmas day and have someone that that loves them like i know that sounds really cliche but that's really what i want and at the same time if i could have one christmas wish i think it would be to just i just want 2017 to be a good year for our family this was an amazing year because I got to meet my daughter but it was a very very hard year too and I have struggled and I feel like I've changed as a person so I'm hoping that 2017 will be a good year for our family. Number nine favorite Christmas smell uh anything cinnamon related really like I just love cinnamon I have so many candles just over there that are like cinnamon based i love that smell like christmas baking and mulled wine it's in everything and cinnamon is the one and then finally number 10 favorite christmas meal or treats um i am a sucker for mulled wine i am a sucker for a pig in a blanket i am a sucker for a mince pie i am a sucker for quality street and roses and a cheese board and port and christmas dinner in general but i think one of the things i love the most it's like my favorite vegetable is sprouts <laughs> and i eat so many of them over christmas because no one else really likes them so i end up getting everybody else's and I quite happily sit there and eat them all especially if they're cooked with like bacon and chestnuts because they're just so nice but i think this time of year like how do you pick i love everything like gingerbread lattes and you know just food in general just christmas food is my favorite thing at christmas that i can eat the end so that's all 10 questions answered so if you'd like to do them i'll link them down below but if you're not on youtube let me know down below what your christmas wish is for this year because i would love to know and i think it'd be nice to sort of think about the good things in the run up to christmas and if you're new to my channel i would love it if you subscribed and gave this video a thumbs up and i will see you tomorrow with vlogmas day two 
Thank you so much for watching. Bye.